Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever and a day. Um, I can't remember the last time I sat in front of the camera and filmed something, but as you know, we're all in self-isolation. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. Um, and I just thought, what better way than to do a video? I know, kind of, everyone's concentration isn't really on anything else but this virus, but I'm here to film something and defer your concentration somewhere else. Um, I recently purchased the Dyson Airwrap. Um, I posted it all over my Instagram. You guys absolutely loved it when I did my hair with it. I put a poll up, shall I record and show you guys how I use it? You guys said yes. So basically here I am. Obviously by the title you know that this video will be me kind of showing you how I use my Dyson. Um, I need to say this is not sponsored. I purchased the Dyson off my own back. Um, I wish it was sponsored because it's bloody expensive. But yeah, I purchased the Dyson off my own back. It's something that I really, really wanted. And um, after my alopecia, you know, I really want to look after my hair and have less heat. And so just like less ceramic barrels, less kind of, you know, the Dyson Airwrap does everything that I want um, in essence. And this basically is the box. Oh, I should turn it around. This is the box that it comes in. It's huge. I mean, you guys have seen it all over the internet and yeah, this is what the box looks like. I believe there's a black box. If you get the purple and black model, I think this box is black, but yeah, I got the tan one. It's a beautiful box. I will never take it out. I mean, it's not a travel box. So I can't put this in my luggage and take it anywhere. However, for my home, it's really nice to kind of keep it all in. Um, I will say I purchased mine from John Lewis. I was just passing and I just happened to purchase mine in the store. If I were you, I would purchase it from the Dyson website. Now that's just a top tip, only because you get a 14 day or 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it, which I think for something so expensive, you know, it's definitely worth it. This Dyson Air Wrap was, I think, I wanna say 400 pounds, something around the 400 pound mark. Um, obviously it's not cheap, okay, however, if you really want to look after your hair and you know that you'll get a lot of use out of it, like me, definitely buy it. Let me show you inside the box. You pull the box up. I never ever hear planes, and then today I'm hearing like contra planes go past. Okay, so you come, it comes like with a little thing on top, and then you take this out, and basically everything's in here. You get your hair dryer part, you get the four barrels to curl your hair, two are bigger than the other, these are the smaller ones and then you've got the big ones, you get your brush head, so there's one with a hard, kind of hard comb brush, and then you've got your soft comb brush, and then you have your round brush too. Now I actually got the full set, oh and also I've got to show you the actual name of what I get one time. Also, you get the hair dryer itself. And I purchased the complete set because I genuinely think, and I know that I will use every single attachment. All of these attachments I've, I've used every day, practically. Um, I've had it for a month, and I didn't want to do a review like straight away and tell you guys how I use it, blah, blah, what to kind of get used to it. And I feel like I kind of have, I mean, I think it takes a while for you to 100% fall in love with it and get used to it, but I'm at the point now where I can just grab and go and do my hair and it's great. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let me show you how I use it. I mean, I'm doing this video with natural light in front of me. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to show. I've literally got a huge window in front of me and I just thought I'd film it with natural light. Excuse the messy background, but I just thought I'd film this video. It's probably worth mentioning that I have extensions in my hair. You might have noticed that my hair is super long now. My hair is actually up to here, so I would say up to here. Um, so it's only a few more inches, two more inches, I will 
added. These are the Rapture extensions. I um, collabed with them and I'm loving the long hair life at the minute. It does take me that little bit longer to kind of style my hair, but once it's styled, I absolutely love it and it lasts. I actually did my hair using the air wrap um, about two days ago. Yeah, two days ago, and as you can tell, it's still curly. So for those of you who asked me whether it still lasts in my hair, on my hair, yes, it does. Obviously, like any other curling iron or whatever, they drop, but I should prefer it like this. Um, the Dyson Air Wrap is a wet to dry hair tool. However, I know on the internet everyone shows you how to use it from wet to dry. But I'm going to show you how I use it on dry hair and already curled hair. Like I said, I've already done my hair with Air Wrap two days ago. However, I'm going to show you how I would, like if I'm going out tonight or tomorrow, how I would um style my hair using the air wrap on dry hair which i don't think a lot of users actually show you on youtube so i thought why not first things first you want to really brush out your hair now i don't know whether it's just me or like because i've not had extensions in so long but my hair gets super knotty I've actually got 20 inch extensions in and my hair was uh 18 inches before what I will need is some clips. Now I'm going to use this big one here. And what I'm going to do, I've got no one for me, is I'm going to section half my hair. So I do it in layers. Everyone uses their air wrap differently. I'm just going to show you how I use mine the quickest and kind of easiest way for me section the hair so you've just got like the bottom section as you can see it's quite a big bottom section because I'm lazy and I like to do it quick now I know I said it was like a wet to dry and I'm going to show you how to dry however I am going to spray my hair with heat protect this is just a Tresemme one only just to protect my hair and it also just kind of gives it that moisture you know grab the two larger barrels I'm going to use them on now the key to these is which what I learn is you take the barrel that you want to use and put it in front of the mirror and you look at the arrow and which way it kind of goes so this way to me it's going that way if I look at it however in the mirror it's going that way and that's how you know which side to use it on so if it was going that way it would be away from the face which means away this side this side is the arrows this way so it's away the curls always go away from the face so I know this side will be for this side does that make sense does that make sense the curls will always go away from the face so look at your barrel in the mirror and see which way the arrow goes basically. then you clip it onto your air wrap take a section of your hair now I'm going to show you how to use it on super long hair now I've seen everyone on YouTube kind of do it with short hair and I'm going to show you like the long hair method which I've learned so yeah you take like half you put the air wrap behind the hair and there's a little button on switch you turn it on and what I like to do is run the air wrap up and down like this, just like the bottom curls properly, and then work your way up. There's a cool shot button, you push up on the cool shot. And then you always have to turn off, and then one curl I'm going to leave and let that be and then I'm going to do the rest of the hair so let me just show you guys on this so you have an on and off button so it's on three parts so you've got on and off button so you switch half to go heat on and then cool shot goes all the way up here and then you've got your fan settings I've always put mine on high and then you have another very hot, middle hot and cold. But I never really use this, I always leave that up. And if I have a cool shot, I will use this big one to kind of slide all the way up. You'll 
see when you get it how easy it is once you get used to it. So yeah, that's one curl. And then I like to take smaller little sections, especially if you've got long hair. Put it behind, watch the hair flip. And just put it, oh. does get very hot. There you can see all my curls compared to this side. And I just let it be. Now because I'm going on to this side and I want my curls going that way, I take the head off, click this, pull this, and swap heads. And I know it all seems like a fuss and a faff, but honestly, once you get the hang of it, it's not. <laughs> And again, just like that other side, you take a section of hair like this, you put your air wrap behind it, watch it flick over like that. There's no actual curling, you literally just move it up and down. And then put the cool shot on. Turn it off before you let go. I don't know whether you can see the curl, but that's the curl. And I'm just going to fast forward and quickly do the rest of my hair. minutes to do it all I'd say. I have seen a lot of YouTube videos with shorter hair using the air wrap and it looks absolutely stunning and so I've not really seen many people with super long hair, long hair use it so I was a bit skeptical however after using it I actually prefer it, I actually love it and the curls that it gives me I just don't think I would get it with um, a curling iron. It's a different kind of curl, I can't explain it. Now I'm gonna just this section back whilst I take down my next section. I'm literally going to leave my crown to last and then take every other section. I'm a bit messy with this but as long as you guys know, push it through. God it's so hot today. 
help that with some hair dryer. So again, just give it a spritz. You actually don't need to spray it with hair protectant. However, for the purpose of this video, I am. Since I've got this head already on on that side, I'm gonna stop with this side. everything to the front. I don't know whether the light is showing you properly, however, this is how I would leave it. I would put some hairspray into it and literally leave it. Let me show you whether the curls are all there. I absolutely love it. I might change the camera around so you're not in light, just to kind of see the curls, or can you see them? I would literally give the Dyson a nine out of 10, and the only reason I'm not gonna give them a 10 out of 10 is because you've gotta change the head so many times. However, once you get over that, it's fine and it is super expensive. So obviously if there were cheaper options out there, definitely try it. However, Dyson are amazing and what they've done for my hair, honestly, it does last in my hair personally. Just like how the curling iron curls would do and would be. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I've left a link down below if you want to purchase it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. And hopefully I shall see you guys all soon on another video and bye from me.